2016 government revenue will be $3.85 billion, 150 million shy of expected expenditure. Bridging the deficit will sink the nation into further debt. Such was the difficulty of the task that faced Patrick Chinamasa, and under the circumstances, many feel he did the best he could. Naturally, some would have wanted him to do things differently. Uh, personally, I think I would have um, liked him to dwell more on uh, the issue of infrastructure development, uh, like for instance the roads and uh, yeah, all the other infrastructure in the country, telecoms and everything, because an improvement in infrastructure has a bearing, has a direct bearing on uh, foreign direct investment, which we need at the moment. Uh, the issue of uh, corruption was not addressed properly. The opposition has been scathing in its analysis. There's also a deliberate skating of issues on corruption, skating of issues on governance, skating of issues on fundamental issues around police consistency. There's just lip service to issues that are affecting the people of Zimbabwe. They want more clarity on the country's empowerment laws, which have been blamed for scuttling new investments at a time the country is clamoring for fresh capital inflows. A shock was in store for motorists who now face stiffer penalties for traffic violations. A ticket for running a red traffic light is up from $20 to $100, a development that could have an inadvertent impact on the economy. What you need to understand is that what is affecting us today is the issue of uh, constrained demand. There's no demand uh, in this economy. So the more we take money from the people, uh, it will create a, a challenge for people to have their expenditure being cut by enforcement agents. The deflationary environment is set to persist with inflation projected at minus 1.2 percent next year. But progressive measures to revitalize the agro sector have been hailed. Cotton farmers will get free inputs for the next three years to resuscitate the sector, while permits, which can be used as collateral, will be issued to new black farmers. Previously, banks have been reluctant to fund agriculture in the absence of security. And it's very exciting that immoral suasion has also been applied by Minister of uh, Finance and, Agri and, and the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe to encourage banks to mobilize $1 billion for the agricultural sector. It's very positive again. Chinamasa also announced tighter controls at the country's borders to plug revenue leakages. The country's import bill is also set to contract marginally to $6.2 billion from $6.3 billion as measures to curb non-essential imports start to pay off. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.